question coming up in the line. So uh, from Iris, uh, who wanted to ask, should journalists in both US and China keep comparing to each other and judging on the government action because it may make their audiences dislike each other and some useful medical advices will be uh, perhaps ignored. So what should journalists report the situation better in other countries, do you think? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking about. Like when, um, um, when, when COVID-19 was breaking out here um, and the, the journal, obviously journalists were paying attention and they were covering the story uh, about what was happening in China, but they kind of did it, like, like you said, like from something that's happening in a foreign country. And this is what China is doing about it. And then when it happens in America, suddenly they're like, what do we do? How, <laughs> what, what, how do we report on this? Should people wear masks or should they not wear masks? How close can you be? Does it does it spread? Should you if you're you know they somehow the journalists just had amnesia completely about what they were covering about China or they didn't think somehow they didn't think it applied to covering uh, United States. Um, so it, it was quite bizarre. Um, so again, maybe it, it's like you know it's this this stereotype or this. Well, that's something that happens in a foreign country that can't happen here. This kind of perspective that journalists might have where they, they discount all of the stuff that, you know, people in China have been doing. And, and you know, so then I see stories about it, and about wearing masks, and it drove me crazy. I said, will masks protect you from it? And I think, well, that's what we've been doing. And I mean, I've been here since it happened, and that's what we've been doing every day to help protect ourselves and protect other people. And then the news stories were like, oh, it's a cultural thing. East Asians will wear masks, but Americans won't wear masks. And, and it, it's just very odd. So I, there do, needs to be a bit more of, of a feeling that like everybody is human and diseases like this affect everybody in the, in the same way. And, you know, China has a different political system than the United States, but it doesn't mean that you can't learn from it. And, and you know... And, and see things that other places are doing and follow from it, right? Um, so I think that would be a good idea for, for the journalists to talk to each other a bit more um, instead of viewing each other as, as enemies or as adversaries or something like that. Um, and yeah, and I agree, it could have some effect on the, on the audience, right? And this is, what, this is a dangerous thing, like the couple of examples I gave of people trying to stir up, um, stir up, negative emotions about China. Um, and just, just today, just before we started, there was um, the, the, I think the, um, the, the spokeswoman for the foreign, the spokesperson, I'm not sure who, from the Chinese foreign ministry, uh, they were asked a question by the BBC and she was, he or she, I forget, sorry, <laughs> gave a very, a very nice response and saying, well, we shouldn't be, you know, uh, blaming other people, we should be learning from other people about what to do and what happened and how to prevent this in the future and working together. Um, and that's not a message that we're getting from from the Trump administration. Um, so journalists have to, you know, think a bit harder about which kind of perspective they're going to be using to report about things in the future, especially for uh, China-America relationship. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that um, we are actually more connected globally to each other than we are culturally and even more so ideologically, judging by the, right, uh, the journalism, right, the performance of journalism across countries. Um, so if we have more time, would you be able to come?